Hi, and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Cedric Welton. Let's get started. In this Council meeting, we open with a recognition of local pastors, administered by Katrina Manning. Pastor John L. Jefferson, Bishop John Richardson, Pastor Greg, and Pastor Larry D. Weaver were all acknowledged and were all awarded a $540 stipend from Katrina Manning. It was followed up by a presentation of the proposed new City Hall expansion and Civic Center from Office Entitled. The proposed project will have a new three-story City Hall expansion with connection to the existing building, new public park with below-grade parking, and will be repurposing the Bank of America building. The Council gave their input and asked to see another draft. Next, a presentation on the proposed new Senior Center was given by Rada Architects and Labib Funk Structural Engineers. The project will be funded with the money from the state and is proposed to expand, add a second story, green space, and be ADA compliant. Lastly, there was a look into the world of artificial intelligence given by City of Hawthorne IT Systems Manager Josh Armstrong. He discussed AI in action in municipal government and how it can be used to help streamline processes. In the resolutions portion, there were three resolutions this week. Resolution number 8445, approving the First Amendment to the City Manager Employment Agreement between the City of Hawthorne and Vontre Norris. His term has been extended through 2027. Resolution number 8446, approving the First Amendment to City Attorney Employment Agreement between the City of Hawthorne and Robert M. Kim. His term has been extended through 2027. Resolution number 8447, approving the amendments to the terms and conditions of employment of those employees represented by the part-time Hawthorne Municipal Employee Association. In the public hearings portion of the meeting, Council had a first reading of Ordinance number 2247, amending section 17.29.040 to be in compliance with the housing element by removing constraints to the residential and mixed-use developments and approving an addendum to the Hawthorne General and Plan Environmental Impact Report. There was one ordinance this week, Ordinance Number 2246. A second reading was approved, amending several of the City Commission's programs under Hawthorne Municipal Code and making a finding of exemption in compliance with CEQA in connection therewith. The following commissions were established, Youth Commission, Civil Service Commission, Veteran Affairs Commission, Senior Citizens Commission, Parks, Recreation, and Fine Arts Commission, and the Planning Commission. Each commission serves as an advisory role to the City Council. Next, Council would file and receive the 2023 California Legislative Update. There were 10 items on the City Manager's Consent Calendar this week, which saw the approval of the following. Project number 24-06, Alley Improvement Project, was approved and is currently out to bid. This project consists of grinding, excavation and removal of existing pavement, and construction of PCC pavement, curb and gutter, sidewalks, alleys, driveways, and ADA ramps and adjustment of utilities. Next, the Alondra Park Multi-Benefit Stormwater Capture Project cost-sharing payment of $500,000 was approved. The project will capture excess flows that will be treated and released into the storm drain system. Council would then approve project number 24-01, an agreement between the City of Hawthorne and Office Entitled for design services for the City Hall expansion at Civic Center Park. Next up, project number 23-04, the 2023 Storm Drain Improvement Project, progress payment number one in the amount of $633,164.74 due to Grubcon Incorporated of Baldwin Park was approved. Following that was the approval of progress payment number two for project number 23-07, the Hawthorne, Jim Thorpe Park, and City Hall Council Chambers Lighting Project in the amount of $315,837 due to Huntington Beach Electric Incorporated. Next was the approval of an agreement for project number 24-03 between the City of Hawthorne and Rania Alamar Architect Incorporated for design services for City of Hawthorne Senior Center. Council also received, approved, and filed the City of Hawthorne's investment report for the quarter that ended September 30th, 2023, a fiscal year 2023 to 2024. Next, Council received, approved, and filed the quarter one financial report for fiscal year 2023 to 2024. Council approved progress payment number two for project number 22-05 in the amount of $253,427.40 due to Martinez Landscape Company for general maintenance needs throughout the city. And lastly, Council approved a payment in the amount of $34,880 due to Los Angeles Neighborhood Land Trust of Zayla Davis Park renovation. There are three items on the City Attorney's consent calendar which saw two claims be denied, along with the approval of an agreement between City of Hawthorne and Carpal Solutions for criminal case management software in an amount not to exceed $29,000. That's all from the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. Happy holidays from all of us here at HCTV. We'll see you next year.